नमस्ते डियर व्यूअर्स डू यू एंजॉय वॉचिंग अर एनिमेटेड इतिहासा वीडियोज काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू अर यूट्यूब चैनल इतिहासा सीरीज एंड शेयर द वीडियो विथ योर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स वी आर ऑल्सो ऑन फेसबुक इंस्टाग्राम एंड ट्विटर विद द सेम आई डी यू कैन फॉलो अस देयर टू द लिंक्स आर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स लेट अस नो योर व्यूज एंड सजेशंस इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो इन अ विलेज कॉल्ड नंदगढ़ 40 किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम बेलगावी सिटी अ प्रेग्नेंट वुमन वेडेड थ्रू द फिस्टून्स कोकोनट ऑफरिंग्स एंड रीच्ड अ बैनियन ट्री शी टाइड अ मिनिएचर रेप्लिका ऑफ अ क्रेडल एंड प्रेड फॉर अ ब्रेव ऑफस्प्रिंग व्हाई प्ले हियर फॉर दिस यू विल सून नो वेलकम टू इतिहासा सीरीज taking you to your roots every generation is a bridge it needs to pass on collected wisdom from the past to the younger generation let's get informed and inspired by itihasa about 2 centuries ago in the small village of sangolli baramappa and kenchawa had their second child called rayanna on august 15 1798 No one thought this child would have his name written in golden letters on the pages of Indian history. As he grew up into a young man, Rayana towered at seven feet, and he was a skilled wrestler and sword fighter. He found his place in Kittur's army. Rayana belonged to an illustrious lineage of warriors and inherited the valor and loyalty to the Kittur kingdom from his ancestors. Kittur was a princely state in present-day Karnataka ruled by Rani Chennamma. She had to adopt a child named Shivalingappa as she did not have a natural heir. Who knew someone called Thakre sitting in Dharwad was hatching a plan to grab the throne for the British to build his political profile? He goaded the British governor Elphinstone from Bombay to take over the kingdom of Kittur under a ruse similar to the doctrine of lapse. But you should remember, the doctrine of lapse was formalized by Dalhousie three decades later. It wasn't even formalized when it was applied to Kittur. There was an inevitable war between Kittur and the British. Sangolli Rayana, who was now the chieftain of the army, led from the front like a lion. Thakre was shot. The British lost the war. Unable to bear the insult of defeat from a small province, the British returned with a mighty army. They also managed to internally sabotage the Kittur army. This time, the British captured Rani Chennamma and Sangolli Rayana. They kept Rani Chennamma in prison at Bailahongala and released non-royals. Rayana was among them. He returned to Kittur. What he saw burned his heart and soul. Kittur palace was in tatters. The British had snatched his motherland and his mother like queen. His people had lost lives and livelihoods, and to rub salt in their wounds, they were burdened with heavy taxes. He was a wounded tiger now, a dangerous beast. The British had it coming. He travelled across the length and breadth of the kingdom, reaching out to people. He inspired them. He kindled them with the fire of patriotism and passion to fight the British spread like wildfire. He attacked British offices, torched buildings and seized mortgage and debt documents of the peasantry and burned them. He proved to be a thorn in the flesh of the British, harassing them with constant raids and attacks in and around Kittur. People were rallying behind him. He had filled their hearts with patriotism, but he had to keep their stomach full too. He was not from a royal background. He was a commoner like you and me, so he had no funds. Rayana dressed up as a jangama or a shaiva sadhu and met Rani Chennamma. He kneeled before her and said, "Oh mother, I swear on your feet." I will bring back whatever these red-faced British have taken from you and offer it at your feet but I will not show my defeated face to you This legendary promise by Sangolli Rayana really Rani Chennamma's hope of freedom she gave him all her royal jewelry blessing him to succeed in his mission Now with a well-fed army under his command he attacked not just the British 
he also attacked the corrupt zamindars who were collaborating with the british his force plundered and looted treasuries and helped the poor and needy rayana had become a nightmare for the british with his guerrilla war tactics he was here there everywhere torching killing looting and attacking the british they had no clue how to tackle him to top it off rayana's heroics against the british were celebrated by the local people making him a legendary figure the britishers tried taking away his lands to weaken him financially but by then he had gained immense support people were supporting him physically financially and morally he had brought people across classes together all of them wanted the same thing freedom desperate to put an end to samgolli rayana the british caught hold of his uncle lakshmana and hatched a plan Lakshmana out the location of Rayana to the British. Rayana was having a bath in the stream when the British soldiers attacked. Rayana looked for his sword which it is said was blessed to him by Devi Shakti herself. But it was in the hands of his uncle Lakshmana who gave it to the British. Unarmed and surrounded, Rayana was captured. Rayana was then tried in a British kangaroo court. and sentenced to death he was executed by hanging from a banyan tree on 26 january 1831 it is apt that rayana was born on 15th august and died on 26 january both important days for free india just before hanging rayana said my last wish is to be born again in this land to fight against the british and drive them away from our sacred soil thus a proud patriot gifted military strategist and fearless warrior breathed his last kranti veera sambolli rayanna's bravery and valor have created such an impact that even today women in the surrounding areas follow a custom where they tie cradles to the banyan tree where he is buried and wish for a son as brave and good-hearted as rayanna